Eric Toft says, you mentioned yesterday about using a small capacitor for the Walksnail 1S VTX hooked up to the 5 volt rail. Can you show me an example? Sure. Uh, the issue is that the Walksnail 1S VTX has a max voltage of 5 volts and some people who've tested it and blown it up by accident say that it seems very sensitive. Like sometimes you get a little head room, like it's rated for five volts, but if you run it at 5.5 volts, it'll be fine. The Walksnail 1S VTX seems very sensitive. So I was saying, if you're gonna run that VTX off a five volt regulator, you should have a capacitor uh, literally on the five volt pad. So let's look for capacitor. Uh, we probably want electrolytic capacitor. I think we probably don't want like a ceramic capacitor for this kind of filtering. I, maybe I could be wrong about that. Uh, let's see. Rated voltage. So if we're running it at five volts, we probably want the rated voltage to be at least like seven or 10 volts. So let's say a minimum of seven and a max of 10. Uh, 6,695 results. That's uh, more than I prefer. We want uh, bulk packaging or cut tape. I guess it doesn't matter. I think bulk is what we want or maybe bag, box, bulk. A cut tape is fine. All of those are fine. Now we're down to 4,000 results. Product status, let's say active. <laughs> um, ESR, we want a low ESR capacitor. So let's try the lowest possible ESR. How many results do we have? One, okay, that's, that's we probably don't need the lowest possible ESR. Let's see, how about seven milliohms? and 6.8 milliohms. Seven results. Let's apply that and see what we get. That's way too, no, no, no. We don't want screw terminal. Okay, let's keep narrowing it down. Uh, we don't want screw terminals. We want, where's the terminals? Where's the terminal? That's, I can't filter based on the, 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 the terminals? Oh, these are all the wrong kind. I've really backed myself into a corner here. All right. Uh, let's, uh, let's drop the ESR requirement. Um, Oh, here we go. This is more like it. I think a thousand microfarads is probably overkill. So let's say we want between. Uh, uh, I don't know. Let's say a hundred microfarads to five hundred microfarads. I mean, this is not like for the whole for the whole quadcopter where we might want one or two thousand microfarads. I really wish I could freaking change based on the the lead type, so I could just search for ones with legs. Um, hundred microfarad, ten volt radial. Yeah, radial. That's what I want to filter based on, not based on series packaging. No. Polarization, no. Where can I, where's the series? Frequency, lead spacing, none of the above. Size, dimensions, height, surface mount, land. Ah, there we go, through hole mounting. That's what I want. Yes, that's what I want. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. All right, what do we got? 100 microfarad, 10 volt radial. I mean, that seems like we're, we're at a good start. 105 degrees Celsius. Oh, with the temperature rating. That'll make sure we get low ESR only. Where's the temperature rating? Operating temperature, 105 degrees Celsius or higher. But we don't want to pay extra for the higher. So let's just pick 105. 105 Celsius rated caps, 
uh, basically that's, that indicates that the ESR is appropriate for our uses. So, all right, what do we got? Still good? 10, 20%, nah, 20%, 100 microfarad, 470 microfarad. That's probably bigger than we need. I really don't think we need a lot of, of capacitance. I mean, maybe even less. So uh, this is ballpark of what I would be looking at. Like a 10 volt, 100 microfarad, right? That's ballpark of what I'd be looking at. Now, somebody out there who knows the components, have I like completely bodged this up? Is there some gotcha here that I've screwed up? Or am I in the, am I uh, on the right track? But that's, that's where I would end up if I wanted to protect, to protect the video transmitter. I feel like 100 microfarads is probably fine. And 10 volts is, is it's twice the rated voltage, so we're good there. We've got the, the, the low ESR is important. We got that. I think we're in the ballpark of what we correct. And let's see, 39 cents a piece. So, yep. So I would probably just buy this one because it's first on the list. And it's a Panasonic, which is a good, it's a good capacitor. And I don't know what the difference is between the FC and the GA series. So I might look closer at that and see if there's something there. The ratings look identical, though. One is automotive and one is general purpose. Anyway, and that, folks, is how you find a capacitor at DigiKey. Uh, that's going to be a big hit on my live stream clips channel.